Hi guys, I am Trish with Unique Me 303 Helian Empowerment. This message is going to be for Aquarius for the month of February 2022. I hope everybody is doing well. I am doing great. The first card that came out is Celeste. This is all about some sort of movement to a new place of either employment or could be a new as well. But there's some sort of movement that is going to usher in some sort of new energy, positive change, uh, some sort of transformation in your life that is going to be of beneficial value to you. And then you have Rosetta, which is about um, having a the ability or a gift or a natural talent of working with children. Somebody is working with uh, handicapped children or maybe like um, autistic or mentally retarded children or something of that sort. I'm even hearing Down syndrome. So somebody is thinking about working with them and they're saying, please go that direction. It is time. But this is about uh, parenting and teaching children. And then you got Merlena, which is about being confused or indecisive about some sort of decision that you're making. It could be about this move to a new job or to a new home, city or state, uh, some sort of movement, whatever movement uh, that is happening in your life and mo movement forward um, is saying that you may be indecisive about it at this time. But what they're saying is to speak with your guides, your angels, uh, meditate about it and get some sort of clarification on exactly which direction that you're supposed to go. And then don't be afraid on making that step to move forward. And then your bond is about connecting with animals. It's a deepening of the bonds with animals. It may even be about healing uh, learning to heal animals and things of that sort, but there is some sort of uh, bond with animals, and um, some of you may be connecting with animal spirit guides. At the, not these cards, thank you. Which cards? With animal spirit guides at this time. So any kind of animals that you're seeing repeat out in nature and, or on TV, or you're just thinking about it or seeing images of them in your head, maybe even it's saying to look at that animal symbolism because they are definitely. Uh, giving you some sort of extra message for what is going on in your life at that time. And then they're asking you to lighten up your mood. If you're feeling angry, fearful, um, something of that sort, listen to music, watch guided meditations, go out and connect to nature, take a walk, buy yourself some flowers and smell them often, something of that sort. Think positively, use I am affirmations and things of that sort. Just lighten up your mood in some way, shape or form. And then it's time to step into your personal power. What is your unique talents, your unique gifts, whether they're spiritual or natural talents? It doesn't matter. Share them with the world at this time. They're asking you to do so. And um, don't be afraid to step into your personal power. That you, uh, you may be afraid of abusing it. Two, three, four. Look that up on Sacred Describes. But they're saying you won't abuse it. Just pray, meditate, and ask that you'll be guided in all that you do. And you will be. And then see the bigger picture. This is something to do with some sort of... Uh, move again they're talking about this move so um, they're asking you to see the benefits and why they're having you move in this direction whether it's physical move into a new relationship or back into a relationship